Hi, welcome to Sound and Melodies. In this video, I'm going to show you how I use DaVinci Resolve as a Pro Tools user. First, I go to DaVinci Preferences, then, within UI Settings, under User, I disable 2D Timeline Scrolling, and Save. This allows me to scroll in the timeline using the mouse wheel. Next, I go to DaVinci Keyboard Customization, then I select Pro Tools and click Save. And close. This gives me the most used keyboard shortcuts like A for Trim to Start, S for Trim to End, G for Fade Out, D for Fade In, and T for Zoom In and R for Zoom Out. The keyboard shortcut for splitting a clip is B. When you select a clip but both the audio and video clips are not selected together, like that, select both of the video and corresponding audio clips, then right click on the mouse and select Link Clips. Additionally, when I press A and cut a clip, I like to move the clip like that. Let's see how to do all of this with one keyboard shortcut. Go to DaVinci Resolve and Keyboard Customization, select All Commands and search for Ripple, then go to the section where you find End to Playhead and Start to Playhead. Here, change the keystroke to S for End to Playhead and A for Start to Playhead. Then click Save. Now, when you press A, it cuts and also moves the clip. And the same with S, it cuts and also moves the clip. Additionally, I go to the Timeline menu and activate the option called Selection Follows Playhead. Now, when I click anywhere on the timeline scale, the clips behind the playhead is also selected. Next, when you press play and then stop, the playhead stops where you have stopped. But, if you want the playhead to go back to where you started playing back from, right click on the stop icon and enable stop and go to last position and this will move the playhead back to where you started the playback. To add new tracks in the Timeline Edit window, go to Keyboard Customization menu, then search for Track, and find the command called Add Tracks under Track Controls. Now add a new keystroke combination, Command Shift N, and Save. Since this is within Edit Timeline, it will open the dialog box to add new video or audio tracks. Here, you can choose how many video and audio tracks you want to add. If you type in zero, it won't add any tracks. Let's add one audio track. Now let's add the same command to add audio tracks in Fairlight. Go to Keyboard Customization. In the search bar, type track. And under Fairlight, add audio tracks. Add the keystroke combination Command Shift N and save and close. Now in the Fairlight window, let's press Command Shift N and this dialog box opens. Here we can choose the number of tracks, insert position and track type as in audio channel configurations. The same options are available in the Add Track dialog box in the Edit Timeline window. And finally, this is how I like to use DaVinci Resolve as a Pro Tools user. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.